The capacity for life must have existed in the universe from the very beginning of time, but where did the symmetry and geometry for the diversity and complexity of life come from, and where did the driving force for the organization of life come from? In a new theory, this driving force and organization is innate within the universe. It is formed because electromagnetic radiation or light has momentum and will always radiate from its radius, forming a sphere. We will always have to square the radius to get the surface area. Therefore, we can say that energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. Because the universe is never at absolute zero, everything is radiating light waves of electromagnetic radiation continuously. If our eyes were more sensitive to the light, we would be able to see this universal process. In this theory, the continuous flow of electromagnetic waves forms a process that we see and feel as the flow of time itself that forms the geometry and curvature of space-time. This process is totally dynamic and interactive. Life in the form of energy and mass will form the future of its own evolutionary path by slowing down the rate that time flows forming a curvature of space-time relative to its own energy. This forms a universal process of symmetry forming and breaking. Early life forms would have moved towards the light, creating a curvature relative to its own energy. The, the direction of movement or growth can be seen mathematically as a vector. Each new vector will have an energy level based on the two previous vectors. This will form the Fibonacci curves and spirals that can be seen in all life, but is most visible in plant life. Intelligent life will form its own evolutionary path out of this process of symmetry forming and breaking. Because this is a process over a period of time, and time has the geometry of space-time, intelligent life will have line symmetry within its geometry, representing the timeline of its own chosen evolutionary path. This process forms an infinity of possibilities for the diversity and complexity of life, but all life is based on the same process, giving all life the same mathematical foundation that Charles Darwin's theory of evolution is based upon.